What is up guys? You are welcome back to my player ratings after Liverpool beat Southampton by three goals to one. You know the drill now. I'm going to go through the 11 and the subs. Ask you guys for your thoughts on my scores. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I think we're all going to agree when it comes to Darwin Nunes because once again he has shown that Twitter trolls don't know what they're talking about and Darwin Nunes is a real player. So look, you know the drill as I said. Drop a like on the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let's get straight to it. We are blessed to have this man. Now, he's a beardless wonder at the moment. I'm sure it'll grow back soon. But he's come back from a shaky start in this game. Because let's be honest, he wasn't great for that Southampton goal. But in the second half, he is the reason why we left there with the victory today. I can think of three big, big saves he made in the second half to deny Shea Adams and a host of those Southampton players who went looking for goals. What a goalkeeper. Is it too early to say at this moment in time? Top three in the world? I think that's fair for Alison Becker. Definitely the best goalkeeper I've had the privilege of watching between the sticks for Liverpool. Shout out to some people who are older than me. I don't remember Ray Clements. I'm not young enough to remember. I'm not old enough to remember him. Excuse me. So for me, this is the greatest goalkeeper that I've seen playing for Liverpool Football Club. And I'm going to give him an A for his performance today. I thought he was outstanding. It would have been higher if he hadn't had the little faux pas in the first half. But all in all, I say it week after week. We are truly, truly blessed to have Alison Becker between the sticks for this football club. Let's move on to Trent Alexander-Arnold. You know what? I thought Trent did okay today. Again, there will be people who over analyse every movement of Trent Alexander-Arnold, but he did what he needed to do today. He defended well, I thought, on the right-hand side. He wasn't skinned by anybody really that guy uh, Adozi is that his name that came on he looks alive wire, by the way for Southampton I think someone said they signed him for Man City but I thought Trent did okay today again I thought he probably played second fiddle to our other fullback in the game but that being said I'm going to give Trent a nice big juicy 7 and send him off to the World Cup because I know Trent will be watching this back later on and obviously he's a big fan of the channel you know Trent I got your back fella there's a 7 for you move on enjoy the World Cup come back healthy and ready to go Let's move on to Joe Gomez. Uh, is it a coincidence that Joe tightened up his hair? I won't call it fully shaved yet. And was better. It's science. You can't argue with it. It's. I need the world to know. Shaved heads, better performances all around. W's. I thought Joe was okay today. Both of our centre-backs probably could have done a little bit better, or maybe a lot better, with the uh, Southampton free kick they scored from. Ward Prowse, we know, has an unbelievable delivery. But I thought Joe Gomez looked accomplished today. I thought he looked much better, and I will match his score with a 7 as well. Van Dijk, better. Better. I've uh, I've been a bit nervy about Van Dijk recently, but today he was... Um, he was leading the line like I'd want him to. He probably unlucky not to get on the score sheet as well. He had a couple of headers. But all in all, was just doing what he does. Comes across, snuffs out chances. If in doubt, puts the ball out. Doesn't mess about. Good performance by Van Dijk. Give him a seven as well. Well, we're dishing out the sevens today. Why not right across the back line? Except for this man. He's getting hired in a seven. Because I thought Andy Robertson today was sensational. Double assist for Robbo today. Um, both of them for... No, actually, one was for Bobby, one was for Darwin. I thought they were both for Darwin for a sec. Both of them magnificent in their own right. Uh, the second ball, the one for Darwin Nunes' goal, was absolutely delicious. And that's what we want more of from Andy Robertson. So I don't know about you, but for me, Robbo looks like he is getting back to his own extremely high level. And of course, he's been pushed on by a very good deputy in Costa Simicus as well. So Andy Robertson today, for me potential candidate for man of the match i will tell you my man of the match at the end but i'm going to give him an eight i thought he was exceptional today great performance from andy robertson more of that please fella fabinho the much spoken about fabinho tavares and i thought he was good i thought he was very good today again is he back to his peak levels no but he's making progress and he's heading in the right direction now, when you're playing alongside Thiago Alcantara, you are playing beside a different breed of footballer, and that will only, that machismo will just will rub off, will come into your area and uh, lift you up. But that being said, I thought Fabinho was really good today. Did everything we want him to do in midfield, broke up play, found some passes, some good defensive headers as well. So a nice solid seven for Fabinho, and great to see him get him back to his best. Thiago Alcantara, what can I say about this man? Well, what can I say that won't get me banned because I love him that much? There was one movement today 
in midfield where he sent two Southampton players to the shop for a pint of milk without even having to touch the ball. Just merely by manoeuvring his body and letting it roll across him, he left two of them for dust. Look, sometimes he plays a wayward pass, but when you're playing as many as he does with the level of sheer arrogance and confidence that he has, this is bound to happen. For me, Thiago was awesome today. An eight for Thiago. For me, we move on now to this man who was another contender for me for man of the match, Harvey Elliott today sensational i spoke to you guys last week about how i've always idolized and loved david silva and how he has this uncanny ability to find space between the lines harvey elliott was popping up everywhere today and not just popping up and receiving the ball being really good really proactive in his use of the football look at that ball for darwin's goal scoopy dink as i like to call it just a little weighted dink over the top and darwin side footed it in he made it look easy it is not easy but he's an extremely gifted young football player so an eight for harvey elliott today and probably on a lot of other days i would have given him the man of the match but you know who i'm saving that one for Mohamed Salah, you can see at the end he really wanted a goal today. He wanted to head off into this break, obviously, before some of the lads head away to the World Cup and he wanted to get himself a goal. He's been in fine form recently. He's looking primed, fit, lean, brilliant. Just didn't get himself a goal today. I am not going to knock him for that because his all-round performance was quite tidy. Wasn't his brilliant best, but still always playing with a smile on his face, doing things in the right way. So we'll give him all a seven for today's performance. Darwin Nunes. Darwin Nunes. Darwin Nunes. When are people going to start giving this man the respect that he deserves? When are the people that love to slay anything Liverpool or any new players we come in going to eat a little bit of humble pie? Because I don't know about you guys, but I think it's only fair in the world of football to appreciate the great players who make us get up off our seats. The De Bruyne is of this world. I'm no problem admitting that other teams' players are really good, but I really got worked up and annoyed by how quickly people started turning on Darwin Nunes. Yes, it took him a tiny bit of time to settle, and yes, he's not a finished product, he's still got a lot of polishing needed, but my God, does he have every tool at his disposal. And he showed us that today. He got his first goal, which was a beautiful side for volley. And then you see the movement, the six-yard predatory instincts for the goal from Andy Robertson. He's playing really well down that left channel. He's got pace, he's got power, he's got speed. Everything that we wanted in a centre forward. I'm so happy he's at the club. He is my Anfield Agenda Man of the Match today. And he gets himself a nine. I don't really do tens, but it was a damn fine performance. He will head off into the World Cup with tons of confidence. And I wish him in Uruguay all the best. But Darwin Nunes was simply sensational. Bobby. Um, good performance from Bobby. Really sharp, bright, some good touches. Um, 15-yard header. I mean, how many headers does Bobby score? Is it just me or has he got a great knack of a headed goal? And how he was able to just manipulate the ball like he did from that Robo ball in and beat Gavin Bazunu with a looping header from 15 yards out. I don't know what the Brazil manager was thinking, not including this gentleman in the World Cup squad. But for me, I was glad to hear the news today that Jurgen Klopp said Liverpool and Bobby Firmino are in talks over extending his deal. I'll leave that up to you whether you agree or disagree. But again, today it was a good shift for Bobby. Got to give him an eight. Great goal. Good performance. Thank you, sir. James Milner. Again, comes on and does what Milner does. Steadies it up. Adds a bit of steel to the midfield. Helps us see out the game. Leads. That's what James Milner does. And I love him in this role. I love him coming on 70, 75 minutes. Helping the lads see through a game. And just making sure that nobody's levels drops everybody stays switched on it's james milner thing and it's why we love him so much so milner for his little cameo i'm going to give him a seven uh alex oxley chamberlain he did okay yeah he did okay when he came on um you know started to push forward burst towards the penalty area pick out some nice passes look he doesn't seem to have a future at liverpool football club but he seems like a really nice guy and i wish him all the best i mean six for his little cameo performance today maybe i'm being a little bit uh, a little bit scabby with that could probably have gone a little bit higher but i thought he was good he was decent when he came on and um, i hope he can keep up his fitness costas again he's up against it with andy robertson being the left back for liverpool but he is a more than able deputy and 
it's been a while since I've been so comfortable with having two left backs at the club. So Costas came on today. He didn't have that much time to influence the game, but you know he was getting forward. So we'll stick to the six for him. And that moves us to Fabio Carvalho. Um, again, a tough one to gauge when he came on. It looked like at times maybe he was playing as a false nine. Didn't really get involved too much in it, but it's more minutes of Premier League football than his legs. A little bit more experience for Fabio. And I think, I think that he'll be more impactful for us in the second half of this season. So, again, I'm going to stick with a six because I don't think he did too much, but I don't want to slate the lad because I think he's got a really high ceiling and I think we've got a great player. And that brings us to this man, Nat Phillips, who came on just towards the end to give Trent a bit of a break. Joe Gomez pushed him to right back. I I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to to say about him except for put the ball in the box and he'll get ahead and clear it away and there's a lot to admire about Nat Phillips so just because Connor's cut off the top of his head there in the image I'm going to give Nat a 7 you know just because Connor cut his head off and that brings us right back around to Allison. so that is that from me my friends this is the last Liverpool game before the World Cup but keep an eye out for uploads coming right throughout the World Cup and uh, next week I'll be a little bit sketchy, as I said, because I want to have access to my workplace for a little while, my workstation, I should say. So I want to know your thoughts. Do you agree with my scores? Do you disagree? Who was your man of the match? And mostly, how happy are you that Liverpool got another three points in the bag before the break for the World Cup and no new injury concerns? Much love, my friends. Again, thank you for your support of the channel. Drop a like on the video, hit the subscribe button, and I will talk to you very soon. Have a cracking weekend. Bye-bye.